minutes. You don't realise, ma'am. It was him. He stole my book and hid it under his rotten mattress. Will you keep still, our eater? Violence won't solve anything. Yes, it will. He just stood back and watched me worry myself to death. The sadistic... That's girl. enough! Now sit down, our Rita. Go on, Johnny. Now, I'm going to ask you something. Did you, or did you not, take Johnny's rabbit book and my cookery book from off the shelves? Yeah, but... No buts! Where are they now? Round at Mavis's. I see. Rita, you've heard the saying that those who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. Well, your glass just shattered. Johnny only did to you what you did to him. Now, I want an end to this business, Rita, so do you know what you're going to do? No, ma'am. Well, I'll tell you. You're going to go round to Mavis's right now and get back them two books. Or so help me... All right, all right, I'm going. There's no need to make such a big thing out of it. Shit. Those that squeak up for the whole weekend, it won't last. I haven't finished reading my book yet, Doc. I spoke on the internet so the twins can read it. Never mind, we'll think of something. Please, Miss Broom, Johnny and Pam are talking. Oh, well, they'd better stop it, hadn't they? Yes, that was very nice of you, thank you. Have you two finished your nature diaries? Yes, yes, Miss. Well, in that case, you should be reading like everybody else and not, I repeat, not playing at noughts and crosses. <laughs> now, I've been going through the forms that I gave you last Friday, and a lot of you who said you wanted to look after Benny Book have not yet returned them. Now, I cannot stress too clearly the importance of those forms. If they're not signed by your parents, you cannot even be considered. Now... I have to tell you that whoever is eventually chosen will be keeping Benny Book for a little longer than was at first thought. You see, we have to be sure that Benny Book's happy in his new foster home, don't we? Yes, miss. So to be sure, Mr Badger and I have decided that Benny Book will be going to the chosen person a couple of weeks before the holidays begin. Yes. So that's not very far away, is it? No. And supposing Benny Book wasn't happy in his new foster home, what do you think we'd have to do then? Give it to somebody else, miss. That's right, Martin. So do you see how urgent it is to get those forms signed if you want to look after our school rabbit during the holidays? Yes, yes miss. And now, as they say, for something completely different. <laughs> Mr. Hobbs will Ooh. be coming yeah. in. No, 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 come on. Mr. Hobbs will be coming in to tell you about the kite competition. I've been reading about the kite competition. Actually, I'm glad about the kite competition because they asked me mum about keeping the rabbit and she got really upset. In fact, do you know what she did? Oh, oh, she put her jumper on the wrong way around and never even noticed. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks rather as if we won't be getting your form back signed then, Pam. I don't think so. And anyways, me dad went on and on about how rabbits can eat up all the plants in his garden. They don't, not if you keep them behind a wire fence. We haven't got a wire fence. My dad wanted to know if we had to eat leftovers. Rabbits are very particular about what they eat. It says here. That a sudden change in eating habits could make the rabbit blow up, and that wouldn't be very nice. Oh no, it wouldn't, would it? So I'm afraid whoever does get to keep Benny Book will have to stick to his usual diet. I think my daddy would be pleased if I made kites, though. Good. Well, that's that sorted out then, isn't it, Pam? Yes, Miss Broom. Right. Please, Miss Broom, there's a man looking at you through the window. Not that window, Miss. It must be a peeping Tom. Oh, really? She's blushing, look. Come in, Mr. Hobbs. Didn't want to enter at an inopportune moment. Ooh, all right, all right, be quiet. They're all very keen to learn about kites, Mr. Hobbs. Are you? Yeah. Yeah. Good, all right. Tell me what a kite is usually made of. It's wood. Yes. Yes. Yes, that's right. In fact, anything light, paper or even thin cloth attached to a light frame made of, say, uh, wood or metal tubes or something like that. You need string on that, sir, so you can hold it up when it's in the air. Yes. I'm glad not to stick it with. True. And you might want to paint it oh, so you can... Oh, sure! All right, all right, all right, all right. Peter's quite right, of course. But to get back to the basics. Now, there are different shapes of kite, too. There's the box, the bow, and the flat type. Now, the simplest of these is the flat one. So we'll forget about the rest for now and think about that. 
Now, this one's a diamond-shaped flat kite, but that's just an example. Now, look carefully at my kite. There's something missing. What is it? A tail! Yes. That's very good, Pam. That's not fair. She's been reading about it. Has she? Now, we're going to be making the actual kites later on, but this afternoon, what I want you to do is to each of you design yourselves a flat kite. Right, now remember, first of all, you need a frame. The usual sort is something like this. And then, as Pam said, there's a tail attached to it. Why does it need a tail? To look right. No. Nope. It's acts as a rudder, don't it, Miss Tubbs? Yes, in a way. It's steady as its flight. But you don't have to stick to a, a plane shape like that. In China, for example, they make kites that look like dragons. So you... It's all right, all right, all right. So you can do one of two things. Either make kites that look like, for example, animals. Can you make one that look like Robbie, sir? He's got rabbits on the brain. Well, that, that's up to you. But um, what are you more likely to see up in the sky? The sky. Yes. 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 yes, yes, that's right. So you might want to make kites that look like, for example, a butterfly, or, as Nadine said, a bird. Or you might want to make a simple shaped kite and paint patterns all over it. So that's what we're going to be doing this afternoon, designing our own kites. Will Mr Hobbs be here, Miss Brew? Mr Hobbs has his own class to take, Lily. Oh, yeah. Never mind, Miss Brew. We still love you. <laughs> <laughs> Will Mr Hobbs see what we draw, Miss Brew? Yes, I'll be looking at your efforts later, so work hard, everyone. Well, I'd better be getting back now, Cathy, so... <laughs> Yes, thank you so much, Mr. Hobbs. We're very grateful to you for coming in, aren't we? Yes, yes I don't see why it should surprise you all that I have a Christian name. We all have Christian names. Please, miss, not everybody's a Christian. In that case, it's a four-name, four-meaning first. Now, pay attention. I want you to go away for your lunch break and have a good think about what you're going to be doing this afternoon. And before you go, who's going to help with the paints and brushes? That's all right, Ginny, Nadine, yes, Josie, you'd better come too. Pam, do you want to help? I've got library manage duty. Oh, it's all right, I'm sure we'll be able to manage. Come on. I've forgotten about library, miss. We might want to book out. Oh, you can get it tomorrow. Come along, Nabby, quick about it. Let's go to school library. But, Pam, I've got to send your book in. I haven't finished reading it yet. It's our reader's fault. Never mind. You can get it out again, can't you? Miss Broom said I should let other people read it. The twins don't want to. They just want to make sure you don't learn any more about rabbit. But there's other people, Pam. Yes, like me. But your mum and dad aren't going to let you keep any book anyway. I know, but if I take the book out, the twins can't say you're keeping it to yourself, can they? No, but... And then I can lend it to you, can't I? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shut up as well. Ma'am, what are you doing up? You might well ask, Humphrey. Is there some tea made? No. You can have some of cork if you want, though. Mm. I just came back to get some books. Don't mention books to me. Hey, I don't know what people take me for. Just a messenger boy, I am. Well, what's happened? I wouldn't care, but I've not got any time on him, and it's not like him. Who? Your dad, of course. He left this where I usually leave his lunchbox this morning. He is as well I work in an ironmonger's. Two dozen galvanised, 18 countersunk, two two-inch hinges, brass, plus brass screws to suit. What's it mean, ma'am? I don't know, Humphrey. And I don't think I want to know either. Oh dear, I don't think kites lend themselves to being rabbits, do you? I mean, it doesn't look like it's going to fly, does it, Johnny? Yes. And that's the whole point of a kite. Oh, Pam, that is pretty. Wait until Mr Hobbs sees that. <laughs> and you know, it looks very practical. I bet that would fly a treat. Well done. Oh, no! Oh, dear. Dear, look, you're all going to have to be more careful. It was them, Miss. Josie, and Ginny, they did it. Was it you two? No. no. Miss Broom. It was them, Miss Alice. Well, nobody gave anybody permission to make paper planes, to my knowledge. So whoever did... It was them, Miss. I saw them. Who say so? We didn't. They're just rotten liars. That's all they are. 
Johnny, you have to be very sure before you say something like that. <laughs> oh, no! What's the matter now? Oh, it's me dress. It's brand new and all. Oh, well, you'd better get to the cloakroom, see if you can wash it out. Pam. My mum will kill me. It was the twins, Miss Broom. They did throw the plane. I was watching them. Well? It was an accident, Miss Broom. We're very sorry. We didn't mean it. Yes, well, I suppose accidents do happen. Right, get on everybody now. Go on, while I tell you a bit more about the kite contest. Now, the idea is that first of all we design our own kites here in school and then make them before the end of term under the supervision of Mr. Hobbs. <laughs> now then, now having learned how to make one, you can all go home for the holidays and all on your own make a special kite which can be entered into our competition at the beginning of next term. Will we? No, you won't, Pamela, because she was all about it. We'll see who wins when the time comes. Now, are there any questions? Do you have to make the flat-shaped ones? Or can we make the box-shaped type that Mr. Hobbs was on about? Oh, well, let's not run before we can walk, Peter. Is that that form I gave you, Johnny? What have you been doing with it? Nothing, Miss Broom. Well, it looks like you've been eating chips out of it. <laughs> to keep this rabbit. Yes, Miss Broom. Well, you'd better come up to my desk and get a fresh one. We can't have your parents signing this. <laughs> Please, Miss Broom, the heating's gone off. Do you think you could send for Mr. Hobbs? <laughs> <laughs> uh, perfectly hot, thank you, Lily. Did you come out, Pam? Not really. Oh, no, it's going to leave a stain, isn't it? Well, you can't sit down soaking wet. You'd better stand facing that radiator till he dried off. Hurry up, Johnny, you want that form, don't you? We'll get even. Right, keep that nice and clean, OK? Yes, Miss Broom. Thank you, Miss Broom. And while we're on the subject of those forms, may I remind you all that I want them in school and signed as quickly as you possibly can. Otherwise, nobody in this class is going to look after that rabbit. No, no. We have to behave like responsible human beings if we are to take charge of the life of another creature. Yes, yes miss. <laughs> what, what's wrong with you two? It was him, miss. Johnny Briggs? Yes, miss, he did it on purpose. Well, it's a graceful thing to do, Johnny. A shameful, cowardly thing to do, splashing two girls with paint. Well, really. I don't know what they did to Pam, miss. They didn't do it on purpose. They did, miss, they did. Well, on the evidence of your behaviour, I'm more inclined to believe them than you. But, miss, I heard my mum said the other day that people living in glass houses shouldn't throw stones, and they threw stones. Johnny. They accidentally upset Pamela's jar of paint. The only got to say is what they did to Pam. Well, that's enough. What have I just been saying about responsible behaviour? I don't know. I said if we are to take charge of the life of another creature, we must behave like responsible human beings. Now, I've hardly called this responsible behaviour. The rabbit, the rabbit, the rabbit. Why aren't you two working? Because you're finished, miss. Oh. Let me see. Oh, noughts and crosses, if you please. Don't you two ever do any work? Yes, miss, we've finished for everybody else. So we decided to make a poem. Oh, a poem? Well, you better stand up and read it out to the rest of the class. I'm not. Go on. All right, I will view it. Oh, get on with it. Johnny Briggs is mad on rabbits. Rabbits do not like his habits. Rabbits always like us twins, and the twins are going to win. Mm. Benny Buck wasn't happy in his new foster home, what do you think we'd have to do then? Give it to somebody else, miss. That's right, Martin. So do you see how urgent it is to get those forms signed if you want to look after our school rabbit during the holidays? Yes, yes miss. And now, as they say, for something completely different. <laughs> Mr. Hobbs will Ooh. be... Yeah. No, 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 come on. Mr. Hobbs will be coming in to tell you about the kite competition. 
I've been reading about the kite today. Pam? Actually, I'm glad about the kite competition because I asked my mum about keeping the rabbit and she got really upset. In fact, do you know what she did? Oh, she put her jumper on the wrong way around and never even noticed. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks rather as if we won't be getting your form back signed then, Pam. I don't think so. And anyways, my dad went on and on about how rabbits can eat up all the plants in his garden. They don't, not if you keep them behind a wire fence. We haven't got a wire fence. My dad wanted to know if we had to eat leftovers. Rabbits are very particular about what they eat. It says here that a sudden change in eating habits could make the rabbit brought up. And that wouldn't be very nice. Oh, no, it wouldn't, would it? So I'm afraid whoever does get to keep Benny Buck will have to stick to his usual diet. I think my daddy would be pleased if I made kites, though. Good. Well, that's that sorted out then, isn't it, Pam? Yes, Miss Broom. Right. Please, Miss Broom, there's a man looking at you through the window. Not that window, Miss. It must be a peeping tub. Oh, really? <laughs> She's blushing, look. Come in, Mr. Hobbs. Didn't want to enter at an inopportune moment. Oh, <laughs> All right, all right, be quiet. They're all very keen to learn about kites, Mr. Hobbs. Are you? Yeah. Yeah. Good, all right. Tell me what a kite is usually made of. It's wood. Yes. Yes. Yes, that's right. In fact, anything light, paper or even thin cloth attached to a light frame made of, say, uh, wood or metal tubes or something like that. You need string on that, sir, so you can hold it up when it's in the air. Yes. And glue that to stick it with. True. And you might want to paint it oh, so you can... Oh, sure! All right, all right, all right, all right. Peter's quite right, of course. But to get back to the basics. Now, there are different shapes of kite, too. There's the box, the bow, and the flat type. Now, the simplest of these is the flat one. So we'll forget about the rest for now and think about that. Now, this one's a diamond-shaped flat kite, but that's just an example. Now, look carefully at my kite. There's something missing. What is it? A tail! Yes. That's very good, Pam. That's not fair. She's been reading about it. Has she? Now, we're going to be making the actual kites later on, but this afternoon, what I want you to do is to each of you design yourselves a flat kite. Right, now remember, first of all, you need a frame. The usual sort is something like this. And then, as Pam said, there's a tail attached to it. Why does it need a tail? To look right. No. Nope. It's acts as a rudder, doesn't it, Mr. Hobbs? Yes, in a way. It's steady as its flight. But you don't have to stick to a, a plane shape like that. In China, for example, they make kites that look like dragons. So you... It's all right, all right, all right. So you can do one of two things. Either make kites that look like, for example, animals. Can you make one that look like rabbits, sir? He's got rabbits on the brain. Well, that, that's up to you, but... um. What are you more likely to see up in the sky? The sky. Yes. Yes. yes, yes, that's right. So you might want to make kites that look like, for example, a butterfly, or, as Nadine said, a bird. Or you might want to make a simple shaped kite and paint patterns all over it. So that's what we're going to be doing this afternoon, designing our own kites. Will Mr. Hobbs be here, Miss Broom? Mr. Hobbs has his own class to take, Lily. Aww. Never mind, Miss Broom. We still love you. <laughs> <laughs> Will Mr. Hobbs see what we draw, Miss Broom? Yes, I'll be looking at your efforts later, so work hard, everyone. Well, I'd better be getting back now, Cathy, so... <laughs> yes, thank you so much, Mr. Hobbs. We're very grateful to you for coming in, aren't we? Yes, yes I don't see why it should surprise you all that I have a Christian name. We all have Christian names. Please, miss, not everybody's a Christian. In that case, it's a four-name, four-meaning first. Now, pay attention. I want you to go away for your lunch break and have a good think about what you're going to be doing this afternoon. And before you go, who's going to help with the paints and brushes? That's all right, Ginny, Nadine, yes, Josie, you've got to come too. Pam, do you want to help? Oh, it's all right. I'm sure we'll be able to manage. Come along. I've forgotten about library, miss. We might want a book out. Oh, we can get it tomorrow. Come along, Abby. Quick about it. Right, come on. Let's go to school library. But, Pam, I've got to send your